dictionary. A leader who can count in the same lines as Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe, who can count him in the same lines as Steve Biko, who can count him in the same lines as Patrice Lumumba, who can count him on the same lines as Thomas Sankara, as Kwame Nkrumah, as Seko Tori. I'm introducing to you the incoming president of South Africa, the president of the EFF, the commander in chief, Cobra President. Amanda, Amanda, Viva EFF, Viva, Tata EFF, Tata, my cool EFF KZN, my cool, my cool EFF KZN, my cool, forward to victory, forward. Forward to victory, forward. Down with capitalism, down. Down with capitalism, down. Forward to socialism, forward. Forward to socialism, forward. Thank you very much, comrades. Let me not waste time. I've got a situation in my eyes like betray me when there is a wind so i hope they won't do that i'm very happy to be inside moses mapida i'm very happy that the kzn comrades were able to fill up this stadium on their own without comrades from other provinces you have made history today and you must be proud of yourself that those who said you won't enter Mabida, you have entered Mabida. And those who said there is no EFF in KZN, today they've got a scientific proof that there is EFF in KZN. Those who thought that EFF is a regional organization, today know that EFF is a national organization. Therefore, I am happy to be part of this history. And I am happy that many generations to come will read that the EFF went to break new grounds in a very difficult province and made it alive. Today, we are here to unveil the People's Manifesto. Let me take this opportunity to pass our sincere greetings and salutation to the King of the Zulu Nation, Isilo Samabanda, King Musi Zulu Kazuletini, Bayete, 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 when I went love. When I went love, when I went love, I salute the king as a sign of affirmation that there is only one king of the Zulu nation, and that king is Musi Zulu Gazeletini. For him to be a king, he requires no court to confirm him. To, for him to be a king, he must be born a king and he was born a king. The rest is just logistics. We greet all the traditional leaders on the Besita, Amako, Sinezintuna, Bonke, Abantuana, Basen, Dungulu, Untunangulu, Kasulu, Tulasizo, Ebutelezi. We respect you. As a prime minister of a Zulu nation, we are not ignorant of your political affiliation, but we respect the king's decision and we shall follow his side. Stada Ukubambisana Gakulu, Nenko Sitembe, and Nenko Sitimba. 
we take this opportunity to greet and salute all the regional leaders here in the province of KwaZulu Natal, everywhere in South Africa, Africa, the continent, and the entire world. We pass our specific greetings to all the leaders of Iba and La, Lama Nazareth, Nazareth Baptist Church, Inkosi Unyazi, Lwezulu, leaders, Kwashembe, leaders, Bishop of the EFM, it's and the leadership of the 12th Apostle Church in Trinity, Reverend Mteto of Osis Church, Pastor Mzimela, Kwamashu Christian Church, our father, Ntate Bishop Ralkulela, and all religious leaders. Leaders of the EFF in Central Command, leaders of the EFF in Central Election Task Force, Provincial Election Task Forces, Regional Election Task Forces, Sub-Regional Election Task Forces, Branch Election Task Forces, Voting District Task Forces. We want to salute as well all those who come from the Sub-Regional Election Task Forces. All the ground forces, we salute you for making it possible. Without you, this event was not going to be possible. We salute the people of South Africa, our brothers and sisters in African continent and the diaspora. Cheers. We send our sincere salutation to all the people of South Africa. We send and salute all the Marxist, Leninist, Socialist, Communist parties in all parts of the world, in particular the Communist Party of China, Cuba and Vietnam. Commissars, I'm proud that you belong to the movement of the people. Ajabula Kapulu, Ukubala, Esfudanzweni, Sakwa Zulnatan. We can say without fear of any contradiction, that this province is the home of the EFF. KwaZulu Natal, Ikaya, Lentanga Noyetu, Sonke, the economic freedom fighters. We are greatly honored to launch the 2024 20, election manifesto of the EFF year in the province of KwaZulu Natal. The province of KwaZulu Natal is the home of the EFF. In the 2019 provincial election, provincial and national elections, the EFF got more than 350,000 votes here in KwaZulu Natal. In between 2016 and 2021, the number of councillors of the EFF in all municipalities here in the province increased from 68 to 168, meaning that we gained an additional 100 councillors. The economic freedom fighters occupies a special place in the hearts and minds of the people of KwaZulu Natal. We once again take this opportunity to say to the people of KwaZulu Natal, Siabonga, for the support you continue to show to the, to the movement. We are in no doubt that the people of KwaZulu Natal love the economic freedom fighters and we on behalf of the more than 1 million members of the EFF, want to state that we love you too, the people of KwaZulu Natal. Sianitanda nonke, sizotala sinitanda until victory is achieved. Kaspedi relerata kudu kudu kamata. We know that for 30 years, you have been subjected to less quality leadership in this province. Within this province, there are capable and willing leaders who have embraced and are capably leading the province to maximum prosperity. We as the EFF want to say here and now that we've got full confidence in Mongezi Twala and the Provincial Election Task Force that when we take over this province, there won't be anyone 
who will come from outside this province to come and lead government of KwaZulu Natal. It will be led by the children of KwaZulu Natal. Comrades, this province is known for its wars against colonialism and oppression. When we talk about this province, we talk about warriors who fought in the battle of Isandwana 145 years ago. When you talk about this province, it's the province of Inkosi Bambata, Kamaniza, who refused to surrender to British colonialism 118 years ago. This province also produced one of the most outstanding predecessors in the Congress Youth League, Antoni Muzwake Limbede, the first president of the Congress Youth, who died 77 years ago at the age of 33. We take this opportunity to assure President Antoni Muzwake Limbede that we continue to be under his ideological, political, and visionary guidance of achieving freedom in our lifetime. The generation and struggle of economic freedom in our lifetime is definitely inspired by the traditional mission and struggle led by Anton Muzwake Limbede, who in 1944 proclaimed freedom in our lifetime. We take this opportunity to report to President Anton Muzwake Limbede, to President Robert Subukwe, to Congress Mbata, to AP Mda, to Mkolis Majombozi, Robert Resha, and all the heroic fighters of the freedom in our lifetime generation that we are here in the province of KwaZulu Natal to unveil and launch a manifesto that is going to bring about true freedom to the majority of our people. We know that millions of South Africans and Africans in the continent and the diaspora already know who we are. But it is always important to introduce yourself because you must not assume people know you. We are the economic freedom fighters, a fearless, militant, radical, and revolutionary economic emancipation movement founded here in South Africa and expanding to various parts of the African continent. We are a socialist, a pan-African movement that unapologetically fights for the reunification of the African continent. We are the most dependable and reliable weapon in the hands of the oppressed masses of our people. Since our formation on the 26th of July 2013, 10 years ago, we have participated in four elections and we remain the only serious national political organization that continue to grow elections after elections. As a result, we currently have 44 elected members of parliament, nine members of the National Council of Provinces. We are represented in all the legislatures in South Africa and we've got more than 1,200 municipal councillors in South Africa. The EFF is also part of government in the cities of Johannesburg, Ekurulene in Gauteng province, Nelson Mandela Bay in the Eastern Cape, Etequini here in KwaZulu Natal. Here in Etequini, it is the EFF that ensured that our people receive and continue to receive uh, clean water and drinkable water. It is the EFF in Etequini that made sure that almost all the swimming beaches remain open during the 2013 festive season because we paid particular attention to the wastewater treatment facilities, most of which were neglected since 1994. The EFF in KwaZulu-Natal, in the local municipality, is governed in the local municipalities of Mali City in Gauteng, Metsimaul in Free State, Nongoma in KwaZulu-Natal, and Western District in Gauteng. Since our formation 10 years ago, we as the EFF have taken thousands of students to the University of Technology, Tibet colleges, and universities. 
We have built homes and houses for the homeless and the poor. We have built shelter for the orphans and the poor people. We have given thousands and thousands of our people pieces of land through our land occupation program. We fought racism everywhere in South Africa. That's why white people today respect black people. Because black people who are disrespected, even at their profession, they simply tell their bosses, we'll call EFF for you. We gave our people hope, and we are the only organization that brought the land question firmly on the table of the politics of South Africa, including taking it to parliament. We marched with you for the jobs of young people. We shut down South Africa in demands of the resignation of an incompetent president and demanding that load shedding must end. We fought GBV through our established GBV desk at Winima Dikizela Mandela House. We have insourced cleaners and security guard and we continue to do so. We are the only organization that is intolerant to mediocrity, corruption, lies, and laziness. And we are the only organization that punishes its own members who provide mediocre, corruption, lies, and laziness. They said this rally was not going to be successful because we expelled some councillors in KwaZulu Natal. We expelled them because they were lazy. And all those who are seated on the stage here, they are going to be expelled if they are lazy, if they are corrupt, if they tell lies, if they provide mediocre leadership. They don't have a seat on this stage. Those who are not loyal to the EFF must know that they don't have a seat on this stage. Your friendship to us and your accessibility to us is nothing else but loyalty to the founding manifesto of the EFF, its discipline and its code of conduct. Comrades, Everywhere we go, we give our people water through boreholes because we try and make sure that our people get water. We know that the people of Mkanyakude, Umzinyat, Amachuba, Zululand, Ugundlof, Ugu, and many other areas here in the province and many parts of South Africa still have no access to quality water. And we are the only organization that can bring about permanent solutions. We have always taken care of the poor, their interests and aspirations. All this we have done even before we are elected to provincial and national government. Imagine if we are elected into government. We have a progressive and focused president of our student wing and our student wing called the EFF Student Command, which is leading majority of student representative council in institutions of higher learning in South Africa today. I wrote here yeah, majority. I heard the president saying all, and mathematically is correct, once it goes beyond 90%, 100%. That's how they conduct DNA SD. It says 99,99999. Then you are the father. The EFF student command and EFF are at the forefront of securing the future of our students in institutions of higher learning through CISO Fundang and Kahani. Whether management likes it or not, whether VCs likes it or not, our children are going to learn and they are going to learn by force. We don't care whether they come from poor families or rich families. As long as your marks are good, 
you have earned your seat in a Tibet college, in a university, in a university of technology. We are the only organization which is fully run and not managed by white people. But I'm worried that we are not managed and run by white people. That I celebrate. But I have a problem deep to a point where you don't even have a white staff member as a cleaner or something there to demonstrate that we are for all. Our saying we are not being managed is not because we hate white people. We are just telling you that we are the only organization in South Africa that is the center of is our seven cardinal pillars. We therefore are at the war and battle to achieve total economic freedom in our lifetime. We are not fighting any black person, president of ATM and secretary general of the PIC. We are fighting black people who are standing on our way, being black outside and white inside. Those are sellouts. Like Ramaphosa, when we fight him, we make no apology. We know that we are fighting an evil spirit of a white settler inside Ramaphosa. <laughs> Comrades, the EFF participated in the 2024 elections with the sole purpose of winning these elections. We are in the 2024 elections for nothing else but to win. So, Mongezi Twala, you have no option but to win KwaZulu Natal province. It is on your shoulders under the supervision of our capable deputy president to deliver this province. The people of Mtabawya Lingana, Josini, Kutuwe, Mtubatuba, must be rest assured that their freedom from traditional organizations masquerading as political parties is coming tomorrow. The people of Eskawini, Mpangeni, Mkandla, Mtonjaneni, Newcastle, Tenhausa, Emadlangeni, economic freedom is coming tomorrow. The people of Tati, Great Town, Mutu, your movement is here and will bring true freedom tomorrow. The people of Kwamashu, Kwamakuta, Hammersdale, Umlazi, Inanda, Tongat, and all the areas of Etequini, your freedom is coming tomorrow. The people of Limpopo, the people of Kiani, Malamulela, your freedom is coming tomorrow. The people of Northwest Mafike, the freedom is on the way, will arrive tomorrow. The people of Mpumalanga, Kanyamazani, freedom is coming tomorrow. The people of Free State in Butsabelo, freedom is coming tomorrow. The people of Eastern Cape Danzani, your freedom is coming tomorrow. The people of Western Cape Kailicha, your freedom is coming tomorrow. The people of Northern Cape, Halishiwe, freedom is coming tomorrow. The people of Kaute, in Soweto and Mamilodi, you waited for too long. Freedom is coming tomorrow. South Africa, your freedom is coming tomorrow. The EFF will deliver freedom in our lifetime. Comrades, Deputy President, let me tell you something. Bayatanda abatandi says kona la enatan. Bayatanda abatandi says kona pakati inside a Moses Mabida. We are here on top of a stage committing to our people that freedom is coming tomorrow. Let me tell you some political illiterates are going to celebrate on the 27th of April and say there is Freedom Day. There is nothing freedom about 27 April. 
only that we removed apartheid from legislature, but otherwise apartheid remains deep rooted amongst our people. Comrades, we always know that nothing has changed since 1994. 30 years ago, in 1994, majority of land in South Africa were, majority of land owners in South Africa were the white colonial settlers. And 30 years later, 2024, the majority of land owners are still the settlers and their biological descendants. 30 years ago, in 1994, the wealth of the country was concentrated in the hands of white majority. 30 years later, the wealth of South Africa is still in the hands of the white minority. 30 years ago, in 1994, more than 90% of informal settlement dwellers about Lalibasem Chondo Olo were black Africans. And 30 years later, today, informal settlement dwellers, dwellers still look like me and you. There are no white people in informal settlement. It is still Africans. Comrades, 30 years ago, we said there will no longer be GBV against our women. Today, it has worsened. 30 years ago, we said we'll fight poverty. Today, it's worse. Therefore, when they come to us, we must be ready for them. When they say, today is Freedom Day, you must tell them, your freedom is still coming. Because 1994 was a missed opportunity. When they say to you, why do you say 1994 is a missed opportunity? You must say, what is freedom without water? What is freedom without houses? What is freedom without flushing toilet? What is freedom without access to quality education and a decolonized education? What is freedom without health care? What is freedom without jobs? What is freedom without basic electricity? What is freedom without land? What is freedom without sanitary pads? What is freedom if you go to bed with an empty stomach? What is freedom without proper roads? What is freedom if you are still giving birth in a shack because in the informal settlements there are no roads? What is freedom if you are still being raped and beaten up without any consequences? What is freedom if you can't move freely at night on your streets because streets have been hijacked by gangsters and criminals? What is freedom without freedom because we are not free? We were correct 10 years ago to say freedom a political freedom without economic freedom is meaningless. But somebody can ask the question, why are you campaigning for political power if you say political power without economic power is meaningless? We want political power to use it decisively and purposefully to turn the means of production and transfer it into the hands of our people. So, ladies and gentlemen, the people of South Africa, members of the Central Command Team, our battle cry for this year, our election theme for this year is our land and jobs now stop load shedding. 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 The theme and the clarion call for election 2024 is as outlined. The emphasis on land derives from the fact that 30 years down the line 
80% of the land is in the hands of the whites. But it's informed by the fact that joblessness in South Africa today sits at more than 15 million people who are capable to work. And our emphasis on now is because our suffering is happening now. We don't have jobs now. We don't have clinics now. We are going to be hungry now. That's why we must solve all those things now. Fighters, more fundamentally, the emphasis on now is because we cannot postpone the true liberation from apartheid, from economic apartheid. We are not part of the 1994 elite pact. We are not part of Codesa. We don't owe the Boers anything. We never went to Codesa with the Boers. We are a new generation with our own challenges. And therefore, when we say now, we must not apologize because we never promised white people that we'll never take the land. Comrades, we say Lord shedding must stop because we are in darkness now. Our people don't have electricity. Load shedding has killed a lot of businesses. And as a result, because businesses are gone, a lot of our people have lost jobs. Has, load shedding has destroyed education. We thought Ramaphosa killed people only in Marigana. But through load shedding, Ramaphosa is continuing to kill our people in South Africa. And that's why we must vote to stop load shedding. Comrades, our commitment as the EFF is very clear that our manifesto is not a manifesto of promises. Our manifesto is a manifesto of commitment. We are committed to everything we are going to say here. So if you are looking for promises, please look next door. We have no promises. We have got commitments because we are going to implement all what we are saying. But let me tell you, this manifesto was not sponsored by a group of small business people and big business people from Stellenbosch. Rupert has got no input in this manifesto. Oppenheimer has got no input in this manifesto. The Minel family have got no input in this manifesto. The IMF and the World Bank have got no input in this manifesto. Tony Blair has got no input in this manifesto. George Soros has got no input in this manifesto because those are the enemies of our people. This manifesto is a product of the people. This is a manifesto from the domestic workers. This is a manifesto from security guards. This is a manifesto from teachers. This is a manifesto from all those who are swimming in the pool of poverty. What is our commitment? We are going to take the land and we are not going to pay a cent. Whether they like it or not, the land will be returned in the hands of our people. We are going back to parliament to change section 25 and anyone who thinks he sound intellectually superior when he says section 25 allows us to take the land without compensation now. So why are you worried when we make it explicit so that there is no debate about it? The ANC hijacked this motion in Parliament 
Now when we get the majority, we are going back to retable it again and amend the constitution. But the land will be given to all. But the majority of this land will be given to women and young people. Because women must own land too. Women must be at the center of people who are going to benefit from this. Comrades, we will do this redistribution of the land, 50% of it before the end of 2025. Comrades, we are going to create jobs and we don't make an apology when we say we are going to create jobs for all South Africans irrespective of their qualification, irrespective of their age, irrespective of their background. These jobs are going to come from social housing and roads infrastructure. Just with social housing and roads infrastructure alone, we are going to build to create 4 million jobs. Comrades, we are going to insource security guards and create a state-owned security company that will create 1 million jobs within a year. At the center of our job strategy is building of industries. We want to re-industrialize South Africa, use state funding. We must not rely on a private sector because they failed long time ago. DP, we don't need the world. For us to industrialize, we must expand our trading with Africa alone. We must trade amongst Africans in order to grow the African economy and create jobs for all Africans. So those companies that are living from Britain, from America, from Europe, you can live with immediate effect, we will get companies from Africa, from Russia, from China. We will rebuild this economy. Comrades, we want patriotic businessmen. If we want and women, if we want to create jobs, there must be incentives for all those who want to open factories outside Johannesburg. Johannesburg is overpopulated. Gauteng is overpopulated. We need to decentralize our economy. And those who go outside, they must know there will be tax incentives. We will subsidize the factories. We will subsidize the machineries as long as they open factories, especially in the rural areas. We want young people in the factory floors producing glasses, cups, plates, spoons, pots, tiles, washing products, electronics, clothes, shoes, and other products that our people use on daily basis. All these things that I've mentioned, including our agriculture, will be protected by the state against the foreign markets. Comrades, we have a duty to produce our own things. If I tell you that toothpaste is not being produced in South Africa, including sticks of matches are not being produced in South Africa, we can't create jobs if we don't produce the things we use on a daily basis here in South Africa. We are going to support SMMEs, through amending legislation to make sure that PFMA and MFMA are, com are compelling government to do procurement from local and small business enterprises. Every municipality must buy 80% of their products strictly from their own business people. Comrades, the EFF is going to create 9 million jobs through stop load, stopping load shedding because we believe that through industrialization we can create jobs but 
We cannot industrialize if we still have load shedding. Therefore, the government of the EFF is committing to end load shedding within six months in government because we know it is possible and it is practically possible. We have assembled a group of engineers who are waiting for EFF to take over. They will be integrated in ESCOM to make sure that we provide reliable electricity to our people. Comrades, we are going to reactivate all coal-fired power stations and operating all of them to the full capacity. We are going to introduce more than 6,000 megawatts nuclear energy, activation of gas to power electricity solution, a non-negotiable maintenance plan for all coal-fired power stations. This will ensure that we secure electricity generation and supply for the next 20 years without load shedding and we are going to do so unapologetically using our coal maximally. We are not going to destroy coal mining. We are not opposed to other alternatives. Those alternatives will come and join coal. Coal is our primary source and we will not destroy it because destroying coal is destroying jobs. Comrades, we are going to ensure that we give grant to all municipalities to make sure that they implement hybrid and off-grid solutions. Most municipalities don't even know how to apply for grant. We are going to help them as a national government and give them that electricity grant. Comrade, education and research are at the center of our struggle. We cannot fight crime, unemployment, gender, substance abuse, and many others without education. EFF will introduce free decolonized education for all and introduce subjects that incorporate knowledge and economic freedom. The EFF will criminalize all parents who don't take their children to school because education is going to be free and compulsory. We are going to create 40,000 positions for ECD teachers by 2027 because ECD is going to be compulsory. All children must go to be part of ECD at the age of three. Amongst these 40,000 recruits, 50% must be women and young people. Comrades, institutions of higher learning, the government of the EFF will ensure that you get all the necessary material that you require to be successful and we will not make you have loans with government because government is not a machonisa. How do you say a person comes from school, but that person already has got a loan? We are not going to burden the youth with the loan. We are going to give you free education because your education is tomorrow's national asset. So, be rest assured that we will not allow NSFAS to be corrupted because we don't need NSFAS. We need government to take money straight into universities and universities of technology and TVS colleges. They must be responsible for funding of their students but we will not allow them to administer the admission of students. We will centralize that, place students ourselves, and we will say to Faith University, 
We gave you 20,000 students. Here is the money to finance those 20,000 students. Comrades, we must make sure that we reclaim the streets of South Africa from criminals. Begitele has failed dismally. The only thing he knows is to masquerade as if he's a film staring. Nothing else that he has done will change the conditions of our people. So let's tell you, if you make a mistake of pointing a policeman with a gun, you are going to jail for 25 years without pardon. If you kill a policeman or law enforcement officer, you are going to jail for 25 years without pain. If you commit crimes such as sexual offenses, tampering with essential infrastructure and murder, you are going to jail without pardon. pardon. We are going to increase the sentences for gender-based violence, murder, rapist, and anyone who steals money from the state. So fighters, I want to tell those who want to go into government of the EFF that be warned, after we hire you, we are going to take your family to prisons to go and see the people who have arrested for stealing money. And we are going to tell them that if your father or your mother steals money, is coming to join these people so that they can call you to order even at home. When you come with the expensive German machine, your children must say, Papa, where did you get the money to buy this thing? Because they will know that one mistake, you are going to change. We are going to expand DNA as a way, DNA database as a way of fighting gender-based violence. Comrades, our army is a joke. Our army is dysfunctional. Our army has collapsed. But soldiers of South Africa, don't worry. The police of South Africa, don't worry. Police, stop being corrupt. Those who are being corrupt, because we are going to pay you very well. If you are a policeman and you arrest a dangerous criminal, we are going to give you bonus for that. If you investigate successfully a prosecution of a criminal, we are going to give you bonus for that. We are going to make sure that you've got proper housing and you've got car allowances. We want you policemen not to look like deputy president of the EFF or Marshal Damini, our Secretary General. I want policemen under the EFF who are fit and proper. The same way you come out of the college, that's the same way you must stay when you are in service. When you lose shape, you lose your job. Because we cannot be led by policemen and women who are not fit for purpose. Fighters, every country is strengthening its own army. Let's strengthen our army because our army is gone. The infrastructure of our army has collapsed both in land, sea, and in the air. That's why in the previous inauguration of the president we saw a person who came from a chopper with a parachute almost landing on top of the nose of Ramaphosa because our army in the air, in the sea and land has collapsed. We are going to strengthen this army and we'll take it to Western Cape and everywhere else where drug lords have hijacked our streets 
to go and help police on daily basis to, com to combat crime. Fighters, our army must fight illegal firearms that are coming inside the country illegally, especially at the border of KwaZulu Natal and Mozambique. All of a sudden, we've got AK 47 in Africa, yet that has never been a weapon of per preference for our people. It comes from the border of Mozambique, and that border will be stopped from bringing illegal firearms into South Africa. Comrades, we are going to have monthly parades on our streets, including visibility of police and soldiers. Today, many of you can tell me that from where you come from until here, you saw a police van. You can't even see a police van on the road. You can't see police on the road. You can't see soldiers on the road. The only thing you see is some deformed traffic officer eating quarter on some corner. So we need police to walk, to walk on the streets, to ride bicycles, to randomly come into any social activity and randomly search you and randomly search our houses if they suspect there are illegal firearms in those houses. We must have an annual search of houses and properties, both Africans, colors, Indians and whites here in KwaZulu Natal one day you must just wake up. Police are searching your house and soldiers in search of illegal firearms in this province. There are too many guns in the hands of wrong people in this province. We must go and fetch those guns and go and destroy them because they are killing innocent people. Comrades, we want primary healthcare. We want to fight common disease. We want to make sure that primary health care is integrated into all sectors of society, sports, education, jobs, and everywhere else. We want to make sure that we establish clinics everywhere. And clinics of South Africa must work 24 hours. We want to make sure that, that there is a centralized database to ensure that all 62 million people are captured on one central database. And if you take the information of patients from that central database, you'll go to jail for a very long time. Comrades, we need to build 24-hour integrated post-sexual trauma centers because we must make sure that the victims receive service at any time. Comrades, we must make sure that there is no doctor or a nurse in South Africa who graduate and does not get a job. All doctors, six months in their community service, they must be placed already. When they finish community service, they must go straight into a job. We don't want doctors that are unemployed. How can you be a doctor and be unemployed? That is an insult. Comrades, we are going to increase social grants. We want Abu Koko and Abu Mkulu to get 4,180 per month. We want veterans to get 4,220 per month. We want child support grant to be increased to 1,200 per month. We want disability, care dependency, and foster care increased. The EFF will introduce a graduate fund. Anyone who gets metric 
and can't get a job will get 1,000 rand. Anyone who get a degree can't get a job will get 3,000 rand. Anyone who get an honors without a job will get 4,000 rand. No one must go to school and not get a job or not be paid for not going to school. Disability people are going to be at the center of housing. Disability people are going to be at the center of employment. Every person who is disabled will get a house within a year. We want all un unemployed, disabled, disabled people, those who have capacity and the qualification to work. Comrades, that years down the line, we are still having the oppression of women. Our women are suffering the most. That's why in everything we do, our women must be number one. Our women must be 50% in positions of responsibility. Our women must be 50% in procurement. Our women must be 50% in administration. Our women must be 50% in government. Comrades, we must fight for gender justice and be on the side of our women. Comrades, in the EFF, there is no lesbian, there is no gay. We are all human beings. The rights of the lesbians and the rights of gays and all LGBTQIA plus are human rights. If you are EFF and you isolate and discriminate LGBTQIA plus, you are not a fighter, you are a sellout. What is your issue with people choosing to live their own life? EFF it's a war of LGBTQIA+. Plus. This is a war of everyone. Comrades, we must make sure that we use science and technology. Because without science and technology, we are not clear of what we are trying to do. Science and technology is everything we need in order to be at par with the whole world. Without science and technology, we are doomed. Without science and technology, we will never be equal to China because China is far ahead of us. Fighters, we must make sure that we take the mine and the minerals of our country We must make sure we take the mines and minerals of our country to benefit the people of South Africa. We are going to nationalize the mines on behalf of our people and use the minerals for beneficiation in South Africa. Comrades, we are going to revive the collapsed in infrastructure in South Africa and we are going to do that working with the Chinese government, with the Russian government, with African states, because we believe that we don't need Europe and the rest of these people for us to use our, to build our own infrastructure. Fighters, we need to build houses for our people. As long as it does not have inside toilet that is flashing is not a house it's a glorified shack we will never celebrate houses that do not have a flashing toilet fighters we need water and sanitation for our people we must make sure that the people of Kiani get the water they were promised and everywhere else our people must get their water. Oh, South Africa, let's rejoice because Bafana Bafana has made us proud. 
They thought Bafana Bafana was finished and Bafana Bafana showed them flames. I am proud to call myself a South African. I am proud of Bafana Bafana and I must tell you I've got my younger brother in that team called Grant Kekana. He took a red card for the team because my younger brother knows that a soldier must die with his boots on. The same goes to the rest of the team. Keep on making us proud. Bafana Bafana, we are going to the World Cup qualifying competitions in June and we are going to defeat Nigeria. As long as we defeat Nigeria, even if they take us out. Because we were deeply hurt by that defeat of Nigeria. And Bafana Bafana must know that when they play, we pretend like we don't care. The next thing, our hearts are skipping when they miss goals, when they play wrongly. They must know that some of us, Nabu Floyd, if Bafana Bafana loses, Please, comrades, let me tell you, under EFF, there won't be just mass statue, there won't be protest statue, there won't be the clerk name on the street, there won't be Fervut's name on any high school, whether Fervut War School or not, Fervut War School shall be Steve Pico High School, because Fair foot must be replaced by Steve Pico. Malan must be replaced by Robert Subukwe. All of them, they must go into a museum of apartheid. And the name of that museum is never again. Comrades, information technology is the order of the day. When we take over Students in high schools, students in university who are going to put fiber and free Wi-Fi because we believe information is key. There will be free Wi-Fi in hospitals, in clinics, in police station, in schools because we believe that that's where our people go. Fighters, we want free Wi-Fi high speed and quality to the internet in the public parks where our people gather there must be a free Wi-Fi comrades we are going to make sure that we lower the cost of data data is expensive in South Africa Vodacom, we are coming for you. MTN, we are coming for you. We want data to be reduced in South Africa because without information, we are nothing. Comrades, Reserve Bank is going to be nationalized because Reserve Bank must belong into the hands of the people. Comrades, we are going to create state-owned bank which will be different from other banks and will be accessible, including provincial and municipal state-owned banks using the post office and African bank because we believe that without state-owned bank, financial sector will never be transformed. KwaZulu Natal we are going to defend Itala when we take over this province because Itala is a bank of our people and cannot be destroyed by the greedy ANC criminals. We are going to create agricultural bank, housing state-owned bank, social assistance bank. Comrades, we are going to make sure that 500 billion that they are invoicing in government is going to be done through state-owned bank. Comrades, 
We are going to have state-owned insurance company. Comrades, we must make sure that we strictly produce and we buy locally produced food. Yesterday, we had 20 local caterers who were cooking. All of them come from local. What they were cooking comes from local. The people who were cooking there, employed to cook there, comes from local. If we can do it in an EFF rally, imagine when we are government, we will procure local because we believe that our people must benefit. Comrades, we want to give the colored communities, the Koi and the Sen in the Western Cape, the fishing rights because the fishing rights have been stolen from the colored and the Koi and the African people. We want the EFF government to intensify the development of black participants in the fishing industry in the following areas. West Coast, Western Cape, North Coast, KwaZulu Natal, particularly the area around Kosi Bay, Market on the South Coast, Jeffreys Bay and Blue Water Bay in the Eastern Cape. In everything we say, the youth is at the center. We want procurement of government to be 40% youth. We want 40% of the private sector to be 40% youth. We want employment in government to be 40% youth. They must not be EFF leased to parliament without 40% of the youth because we are about the future. Comrades, we are going to restructure the Constitution of South Africa and take National Prosecuting Authority to be a Chapter 9 institution. Why should a National Prosecutor President? That's why this prosecutor will never prosecute President. How can you prosecute your own employer? The employer of the national prosecutor must be national parliament so that he can charge anyone who commits acts of crime. Comrades, under the EFF, there will not be prison. It will be correctional centers because ours is not punitive but corrective. We want to make sure that those who make mistakes and go to jail, they must come back reintegrated into society as better people. We will build accommodation of 43,000 capacity because we want to deal with overpopulation. We will make sure that intelligence is not politicized. Communication is not unlawfully intercepted and there is no widespread fraud of financial management. State security or state intelligence will be seriously monitored under the EFF and will protect the whistleblowers because the whistleblowers in the state security, they are scared to speak because when they speak, when they go back to work, they get persecuted. Comrades, every South African must be a defender of democracy. Any South African who gives our government information about criminal activity or threats to our state or threats to our economy, that person will be paid money as a sign of good citizenship. Comrades, we are no longer having tenders under the EFF. There won't be a cleaning tender. There won't be a security tender. There won't be a gardening tender. There won't be landscaping tender. There won't be beautification tender. There won't be construction and maintenance tender. 
There won't be consultant. There won't be professional services. There won't be banking services. There won't be telephone and internet services. Why? All those sectors are going to be insourced and work for government. We are going to make sure that we collect as much taxes as possible. We must aggressively deal with tax avoidance. We must aggressively deal with illicit financial flows. We must expand our tax, our tax base to include e-commerce effectively tapping into digital e economy. Implementing a wealth tax, we must tax the rich because their rich is our sweat and blood. Revising corporate income tax will also reduce VAT because we don't understand why they increased VAT when there is many other methods to collect taxes. Tax will come from 15% to 14%. Comrades will fight corruption in public procurement. We'll make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to provide services to government irrespective of their families. And is going to move from Cape Town to Tuani because we believe that parliament must be where the legislature is to avoid costs but to also maximize and ensure that there is effective accountability. Tourism is going to be at the center of our revolution. Comrades, we are going to rebuild our infrastructure. We are going to build electricity. We are going to give you water. And we are going to make sure that we benefit from our minerals. We will use our African infrastructure links. We will use China infrastructural fund. We will use Russia and everybody else who wants to work with us. Comrades, we want one passport for all Africans. We don't want Malawian passport. We want African passport that allows us to travel Africa without visas. We need peace in Western Africa and in the DRC. We will work with all involved to make sure there is peace. We will revive Pan-African Parliament and make sure we give it teeth. It must be an overarching legislative body that all of us respect. Comrades, we are on the side of Russia against NATO because NATO is disguising as Ukraine. There is no war between Russia and Ukraine. There is a war between Russia and NATO because NATO wants to come closer to Russia so that it can undermine the sovereignty of Russia. We thank you, the people of South Africa, for loving the people of Palestine. Continue to show them love against apartheid Israel. Russian Palestinians must know they've got a home in South Africa. We will never retreat. We are not scared of the Jewish power. We will never surrender to the Jewish power. We will surrender to humanity. We will surrender to self-determination of the people of Palestine. We will surrender to the independent state of Palestine. We will not allow Netanyahu to commit genocide. We are on the side of Russia, Palestine and please everywhere else we are, let's remind our people that we are not free if the people of Palestine are not free. The people of Palestine are not against the Jewish nation. The people of Palestine do not want to kill Jewish women and children. The people of Palestine want their self-determination. If there is anyone who is killing innocent people,
That's Netanyahu. He's a warlord, an international criminal, and he must be charged. Comrades, we are with the people of Cuba because we know America is impo imposing back on them. We are, we are with the people of Western Sahara against Morocco because we know that Morocco has occupied the land of Western Sahara. The EFF, as we conclude, want to send its message to Taiwan that we don't recognize you as a region. We recognize one China. And when we take over, we are going to close the embassy of Taiwan because we know you are sponsored by imperialism. We are with China against imperialist forces who want to divide China. And in that spirit, I wish to send my gratitude and those of the EFF to the Chinese community and wish them Ch happy Chinese New Year. We say to them, we are together in the struggle for socialism. Let me salute and thank our international guests here with us today. And amongst them is my brother, David, who belongs to the Movement for Democracy and Growth in Kenya. We say to you, our brotherhood is bigger than our ideological orientation. Before our ideology, we are all Africans. My brother David, who's here, is in coalition with the ruling government of Ruto in Kenya. We thank the embassy and high commissions of friendly sister nation that honored our invitation and present here today. And amongst them are China, the kingdom of Lesotho, Norway, Chad, Uganda, Pakistan, Spain, Tanzania, Georgia, Zambia, and Italy. Comrades, I ask you all to stand up and observe a moment of silence in respect of the passing away of President of Namibia, President Gengov. We say to the people and government of Namibia, we are with you. We know your pain and your suffering. We know what you are going through today because we once went through the same through our father of the nation, Nelson Mandela. When we went through that pain, Namibia was with us. It is our turn now to go back to Namibia and say to the people of Namibia, Nangabe, we are with you in this pain. We send our special condolences to the former first lady of Namibia. With due respect, those who are moving, they must stand. Those who are talking, they must keep quiet as we observe the moment of violence in respect of the president of Namibia, President Kingo. Thank you very much, comrades. Comrades, I want to say to the people of Eswatini, your struggle is a struggle of the people of South Africa. You are with us, President of Pudemo. We are with you. Traditional leaders, all of you, you must know you've got a place in the EFF. We've got a king who is a member, King Dalinjevo, who is a full member of the EFF that because the EFF recognizes traditional leadership. All traditional leaders who are here, Abundavesi, Ta, all of you, please know that these are your children. Do not be threatened by them. We are going to own the land together with you 
because we are nothing without our traditional leaders. How can Floyd Sibambo run an initiation school? Initiation schools are run by traditional leaders. And therefore, we believe that with traditional leaders at the center of the initiation school, we will avoid the death that we are experiencing today. So all of you, royal blood, we are under your leadership and we salute you. We are not above you. We are not below you. We are by your side holding each other together to reclaim the dignity of our people. Let me send a special gratitude and thanks to Deputy President Floyd Shibambo, who is a convener of the PETF, which organized all of this. Let me thank the Secretary General, who led from the front, who always ensured that the level of logistics and mobilization is at par with the expectation of the membership and the leadership of the EFF. Secretary General, as I go back home to my grandmother's house, I go a happy man. I am happy with the type of effort and work you have all put in place here. I can safely say I lead a living organization. Ground forces, we are nothing without you. Without you, there is no EFF. And without you, there is no manifesto launch. If you were not in this stadium, even if we were here on the stage, without you, there won't be a manifesto in the EFF. We need the manifesto. We need you to be always available to lead from the ground. Don't get tired, ground forces. There is no cold weather in the revolution. It is not cold outside the ANC. We have made it warm outside the ANC. It is hot outside the ANC. There is no revolution. There is no rain in a revolution. There is a revolution in the rain. We are not scared of the rain. We are not scared of hot water. We are ready. The people of South Africa, the people of KZN, we are starting now at Moses Mabida. We are marching to the union building. From now onwards, we are going to stop at the union building. I present to you the people manifesto of the EFF. This is the weapon that will be used against the enemy of our revolution. Fellow fighters, this book is 265 pages. Let's ensure that we download it. Let's ensure that everybody gets to know about what is he in the revolution. Amanda! Amanda!
Manza! Amanza! Amanza! Land and jobs now! Stop! Yes! Uh, thank you very much, Mongameli, Siabulela, Gogus is out there, Unopala as Osenze Lama Zombulelo, Eva Gonopalas is out there, Fighter Linda Spia, as a stage immediately, Eva Gonopala as his opinion as his own visa, immediately Eva Gonopala, Kunja, no fighter Linda Spia, Gogus and Negaza Lagunopala, Secretary General. Amanda, Amanda, at your arm, marshals, open all those gates. Let the fighters come here. Open all those gates. Let the fighters come here. Open all those gates. Go out as of Amnandi. Hey, your arm. Open, allow the fighters to come here. Go back, sons of Amnan. Let the fighters come here. Go back, sons of Amnan. Asinda Aola. Hey, to the Moses, my Peter. Kuseka Yala. See, I thought it was Lunatan. Asibe sabi si abafuna Asibe sabi si abafuna Asibe si abafuna Si chai thame, fai chai thame Si chai thame, fai chai thame Si chai thame, fai chai thame Fight, I long live, long live. long live, long live. long live, long live. Simanawe Mongameli Simanawe Long live the commander in chief long live Long live the commander in chief long live Sipate Julius Malema Sipate Gaina Mongamele Union Buildings Gaina Gaina Mongamele Union Buildings Gaina Amanda 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 Viva EFF Viva! 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 Amanda! Mwaka mwe. Ata mwa fight ya mwoku tika cool. Afuna kubwa usaji asaji uze manji. Was that The voice is gone. Amanda is killed by these things. Amanda. Viva! 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 Tata! Viva! Tata! How no maguvi siya ya siya no maguvi siya ya. No, ma vese tu bola, vesi shaya, vesi bopa. 
No ma vese tu bola. Besi shaya. Besi wopa. Kuvi kuvi o. Siaya. Siaya. Stop that. No makuvi. Siya ya. Siya ya. No makuvi. Siya ya. Siaya, who left? Who right? The master. Who left? Kita, kila man. Kiri bata bata, samarumo. Asicha, where were you when I'm sitting? Where were you when I'm dreaming? So far, sketchy, emoye. So fast, kichi, etati, kichi, 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 ma. Sipram konto, alayes. Bonge la bond, eva kiti. Bonge la bond, eva kiti. Sitati le, ila kiti. Sitati le, ila kiti. Shoot to kill, yamasa. Kill the poor, the farmer. Brr, pa, pa, brr, pa, pa. Attention. Thank you very much, President. It's Bonga Kulu, Bonga Bay. It's Fuluk Chacha Lel Chuba. It's Bonga. Goguchi Ushalus Holland Jalo. Kuse kwe na manje, uzhola ngobu kocho. No guchi, utalu haba nachi monga meli. Si haba wanga kakulu. Si funu guchi kudina mafani. Wenzile, si boge boga banja bebe kona. Monga meli kabe sezi pucha. Umasi kai boge mboni za mga pasi. Nobu holi pa mategi isi. Eu igual a você, eu te passei. Esmoga o anco muito, o becona é changaliza, le manifesto, a base base, a base pega ela. Isole psu, o monga me dá curu me engabo. Esmoga a base o chucha, eu te noba, lava o de bem cajilanga, se bem cura. Tegisi, o uti banga laishi. Bacha bacha wa matengi sina wama pasi Tina saba na EFF Sizo ilaishi EFF Kege siso yako kongolose Kwa ba wipiloki to this organization Sibabonga kakakulu Sibonga everyone okona Sibonga ifarashi zetu Ezi la papezu nesteli zamba nati Nani crown for Jesus Ubu holi be province ya se KZN Wonga ma richi ni wonga ma branch Ezalo msewe zoba impumelelo Sia mwonga kuru fighters Kwato wange nanti ndaba Asi ndao Nanti ndaba Asi ndao Sia la 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 Kwa wangu sakonu pig zulu Kukoni pig nazi Kukonu kuzali Kukonu mchandeni Bakona mboke nabo Bamba ne EFF Bacha komu Toso bachela ne EFF Kobi FF ikalabo, si abo nga kulu. Kocho uchi mbise, uko misa tokcha nchosi. Aga chije, uguti aga zoshaya, ibiko mimire mitati. Hawi ya zania, yizwe leto, solitata, EFF. Solid. 
zitube asina mala sisebenze ayeshi lumsizitube umtomnya mutale imale male chis imale 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 asina luto Mamawa mi ulikele u baba wa mi ulipoye chis amawa kele baba wa musem kodini chis imale imale angini zobo chis imale imale Male, male, away, male, 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 Are you ready for Ikogama? Are you ready for Big Zulu? Are you ready for DJ Dira? Viva EFF Viva! Viva EFF Viva! Tata Malema Tata! Tata EFF Tata! Niebe Sabana! Niebe Sabana! Tata EFF Tata Tata Julius Tata Tata Julius Tata Gana Julius Gana Amancha 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 Apo mato mazana mato mazana mato mazana mato mazana Chofito 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 Ten Nine Eight Seven Six Five Four Three Two One Tomegi 